All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So we are in a new location. We are in the sunny Las Vegas, Nevada here. Um, you may have seen on my Instagram some posts about uh, the backyard, the, the, the crazy pool that we got, and um, the start of the underground zoo that we are putting under our, our home. So uh, my next video, which I'll be posting soon, is going to be that first Scales Reptiles 2.0 um, intro video where I'll show you kind of the layout of what we have, uh, what the plan is. Um, so I have that coming really soon, so stay tuned. Today is actually a pretty exciting day. Uh, these eggs are our first, which sounds ridiculous because we've been doing this about a year and a half now. We've produced a lot of eggs, but initially when we started, unlike what many people tell you to do, we started with no real recessive traits. Um, there's some sort of squawking going on over here, maybe some sort of bird. Um, anyways, they want to be part of this video. Uh, so anyways, the, uh, we started with no recessive traits and that means that we had some great production. We learned a lot in the codominant, uh, genes, but we really didn't focus on anything recessive. Why did we do that? Um, well, cheap. Snakes were just cheaper that aren't, you know, some of the higher end recessive traits. And we wanted to get in, see if we could even do this thing, produce eggs, and we did have a great and successful season. So then we invested heavily into the recessive traits. Um, this is actually our first ever, hopefully, recessive gene clutch. Uh, the mom was a GHI, which is the gotta have it gene, that's a codominant gene, and she was het clown. So 100% het clown. She was proven to be 100% het clown, so she has had eggs before. And the dad was a GHI, he was a clown, so a full visual clown recessive trait. He was also a butter, and that's it. So butter, GHI, clown. So what are our options here? Uh, first, we really wanna see some clowns because uh, if we don't, then uh, the babies are either going to be, if you guys know how the recessive traits work, they're either going to be clown, visual clown, or they're going to be 100% het clown because of the dad being visual, he's going to give every baby at least one copy of the genes. So our odds are that um, we should see uh, half of the babies, half, I believe, I have to do that Punnett square, but half of the babies um, coming out clown. So that's what we should see. And then we could get some uh, super GHIs, which is gonna be super exciting, super, super. And uh, then of course the butter gene is in here. So that's gonna be show up, should show up in about half the babies. So GHI should also show up in half. So we'll see, we got a lot of mixes here. The best snake that we could hit is gonna be the super GHI butter clown. So for whoever watched my last video, I forget your username, but I wanna give you a little shout out. Sorry about the uh, forgetting of the name there, but um, thank you for, for saying, how could I just use that uh, razor blade and not scissors? Scissors are here today, so hopefully the uh, cutting of the egg will not be a mutilation there. So thank you for your uh, comment. I do read the comments. I try to comment on most of them. Um, so thank you for those. Don't forget to leave them on uh, your comments on this clutch. So this is actually a really nice clutch. We had uh, two, four, six, eight eggs here. Uh, we are at day 50. So I like to cut on day 50. It gives uh, the snakes an extra week to you know, sit in their egg and then decide to come out at around 56 to 60 days is typically what I see. Um, we've never had any issue with this. Um, again, you know, I've commented on cutting eggs in other videos. Today, I'm not gonna comment on that, so. All right, let's start with this loose loose little egg over here. Pretty deflated. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's move this over so we can get a nice view of this egg here. All right, so here we go. We're gonna pinch that right there, start with a little cut. And here we go. I'm making tiny little snippets really close to the edge um, so that we don't hit any snake. It's very, very unlikely if you do it this way that you're gonna hit any snake anyways. All right. Sounds like we got my cat who is 
enjoying the outside and making some meows here. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. Okay, well, we got something. I see GHI. Let's cut this open here. Again, I've commented in other posts, the blood on the veins and things, not a big deal. At this point, the snake uh, has gotten a lot of the nutrients that it needs and the rest it'll pick up from the little pouch in there, the yolk sac. This is a big snake in here. Um, sadly, this is not a clown. So number one is going to be a het clown at this point. Let me put this off to the side here. So. Let's see what we got. I mean, it seems, you can see some pattern there. At this point, right this second, um, I'm going to call this just a GHI het clown. So at least it's not just a het clown and no GHI. It could be a super GHI, but it's gonna be way too hard to tell at this moment in time. Um, so I don't see any butter in there and I don't see, and it's definitely not a clown. So, all right, first egg, not our best hit, but a beautiful little snake. Nuzzle him back up there. All right, so that's number one. It's fun when you have eight because you get a lot more cutting to do. So let's keep going. Let's see if we can take one of these apart here. Maybe not. Okay, we're not gonna try. We're gonna dig in. Let me move this in front of me here. All right, we'll start with this one next. I'm seeing a lighter something here. Could be a belly, but we'll see. Okay, definitely something different here. Let's peel this open a bit. All right, so now we're talking. Got ourselves a clown and definitely a butter clown, which is awesome. And I'm I'm thinking that this is super light. Um, we are gonna come back to this snake. This could very easily be the super GHI butter clown right there. That's an awesome, yeah, we're gonna compare it to some of the other ones since we have so many eggs here. We'll easily be able to compare this since there is honestly not that many combos that can come out of this. Um, we are gonna compare this, but woo, that's nice to hit on a second egg. That is going to be stellar. Let's move on. Here we go. These scissors, what a great idea. <laughs> You have to remember out there, I, this is only my first year, or my this is my second season of eggs, but my first season was barely a season. I mean, we got eggs almost immediately after we started this thing. Okay, this is some crazy going on in here. Oh, yay. Okay, so we got ourselves another clown, which is amazing and awesome. Now, take a look at this. Look at this. So, this is definitely not a normal clown, and it's not a butter clown. So, we know um, this, to me, at this very moment, if you guys can see that wacky pattern, I mean, it's 100% it's a GHI clown. But this, this could also be the super GHI clown. I mean, easily. 
It's got so much freckling, so much crazy up the sides. I'm very excited to see when this one hatches out. But all right, that's uh, two clowns out of three eggs. Not complaining so far, let's keep going. We're gonna leave this one for last, I feel like. Let's move over here, so. I'm gonna just start cutting this guy. Or girl. And remember for you guys and gals out there, if you're learning your jeans still, butter and lesser are pretty much the same gene. A lot of people think butter is the better version of lesser. It came at the, you know, came up um, around at similar times. What do we got here? Um, but butter is a kind of sharper version, at least in my opinion too, that, uh, than the lesser gene. And the, it's part of that blue-eyed Lucy complex. So two butters, two uh, lesser and a butter, or a butter and a Mojave, all that creates that blue-eyed Lucy snake that a lot of people like. Um, this one I'm not sure yet, so let's take a look. It's light, very light. It's upside down. Without poking too much, I'm not sure what we're gonna get here. It's a lot, of going, a lot going on in here. Let's dig our finger in a little bit, see if we can turn it. Dang, it's a light snake. I don't know. It's all belly though. The pattern, maybe it'll move around. I think we're gonna leave her be. Huh. Interesting. We're not gonna dig too deep on this snake. I don't want it, you know, to act up and turn over on ax or you know, come out of the egg too early. So we'll just leave it. But definitely a look at this bugger trying to move around here. Uh, definitely a light snake. It most like if it's this light, I could very much see it being a clown of some sort, um, but we don't know. So we'll 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 come back to that one. Um, let's see here. All right, back to the next egg here. Let's go with this one here. Ooh, we got a lot of ooze coming out there. That's not too great, but that's all right. Okay. Doesn't look a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Hold on a second. I forgot we could also just get a plain old clown, which is not nothing wrong with that. Really getting too much ooze out of this egg. Let me tilt this one. All right, let's cut it a little bit more here. Yeah, let's see, it kind of looks similar to one that we cut, so let's get a little bit more egg out of here, see if we can see a head. All right, let's poke around for a minute in here. This, Super wacky, super wacky pattern. Where's your little head? This is a clown. And this is sharper and so sharper than this one over here, if you guys can see the pattern, the pattern, but it's hard to tell at this moment, but these are gonna be the ones that we'll be comparing against each other because this is not, to me, this does not look like your typical clown. It's too wacky there for sure. So I'm thinking a GHI clown here, maybe a super GHI clown here. So uh, interesting, very interesting. Let's keep cutting. But so far we're getting some Great numbers on clowns, which is making me happy. Again, first recessive clutch ever, so this is pretty exciting. We have obviously a lot more recessive things coming this year with sunset projects that I know you guys have seen in my videos. Um, so those will be coming soon here, but right now we're just on some clowns. 
dark snake, so no butter. We haven't, well, I guess we've been getting some butter here. Let's cut this, spin this this way a little bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. So this one, there's a little snoot. This one looks like, so it's definitely not a clown. And it does, it looks like a super GHI. So GHI and then super GHI here, heck clown is what this looks like. It's gonna be a little bit hard to tell again until they come out, but that's what it looks like. The patterns are a little bit more reduced. You can see inside this pattern, there's some loops there. I don't really see that peeking out here. It's less loops, more, if you can see that with the camera there. And I also see some white along the, like a, a lighter along the top edge, which uh, you'll see more in a super. So, all right, so that's cool. I'll take that, super GHI, heck clown's a great snake. Again, breeding this snake into, let's say it's a boy, um, and you breed that into a clown female, you know, all the babies are gonna come out GHI, and you're gonna get, uh, again, half those females um, coming out uh, clown, so, or half those snakes coming out clown, because it's got the head there. So, all right, let's, uh, let's do this, here we go. Got our butter. So butter is co-dominant. That means 50% of these eggs, you know, should be should be uh, butter. We also got a clown, which is making me super happy. Let's cut this out here. All right, super reduced. Patterns are so, we are early, I forgot. You know, we're, we're still, they have time to produce color and that's that's what's happening here. That's what I'm kind of a little bit shocked at how, how light these snakes are. But again, we're early. So these snakes will, will produce a lot more color in their pigments by the next week. This is a lot of movement around in there. Um, Anyways, that blood, that blood will dissipate out and it'll be fine. They have their big, again, they have their big um, yolk sac underneath them that they're still absorbing and that's what's happening at this point. Um, but beautiful, beautiful snake. We'll have to compare it again to what we have. Um, but I, I know for a fact, this is a clown. It's a butter and it is a, um, it is a GHI at a minimum, and hopefully one of these or two of these, we will get some super GHI butter clowns. This one's starting to rotate here. Is that its head right there? That is. Ooh, come on, let me see your little face. Yeah, this is, this is too pretty. It's gotta be another clown there too, so that's awesome. So we're gonna have three different uh, butter clown versions to uh, compare to. All right, so one last egg. If the odds are right, this should be a butter, but you know how that goes. Not always, not always uh, the, gonna be 50-50. So let's see what we come up with here. And the odds God how are they gonna treat us with me poking my fingers in here? Well, they treated us right. <laughs> we got ourselves a butter. We do not have ourselves a clown. And let's see what else we, we got in this little one here. All right, 
So, this snake at this very moment looks like a butter het clown, and that's it. And there's no GHI in this one. So, um, but you know, we'll wait to see how it comes out. But it, I would say, unless we get some more wackiness going on, um, it might just be the butter GHI het clown. So let's count our butters. We got one, I'm sorry, no GHI, butter um, het clown is what this one is. So we have, uh, we have one butter, two butter. I cannot imagine this not being butter. So that's three butter. And yeah, it's turning, I see it. So three butter, four butter. So out of eight eggs, four butter, that's what we would expect. Let's see our clowns. We have one clown, two clown, three clown, four clown. So I believe this one is a clown, and if it is, then that's five out of eight. So that's pretty awesome odds there. Um, and then GHI. Most snakes should have GHI because both mom and dad had GHI. So we know this one does. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and most likely seven. So that's a lot of snakes with GHI. Um, well, that little dude's moving here. But uh, this is pretty awesome. We're gonna wait. Um, all right, so uh, I will give an update um, on, normally on my Instagram page. Sometimes I include it in these videos, um, but we will uh, have an update on these once these come out in uh, about maybe seven to 10 days. So cannot wait, but this is our first ever clutch of uh, recessive trait, our clown, and we're super, super excited about this. So can't wait for you guys to see these, and these will all be available very soon as well. So if you're interested, uh, don't forget to reach out. You can send me a, a comment or reach out to me on Instagram at scales reptiles. That's scales with a Z. All right, talk to you soon. All right, everybody. So um, on, I think maybe the last one or something that I did in egg cutting, I didn't show the babies right away. If I'm a viewer watching my videos, I know I'm itching to see what they actually look like. That's the fun of it. And in those eggs, it's really hard to see. So we're going to go. Um, we are now maybe about 10 days later um, after the egg cutting. The snakes have not shed their skin yet, but they look good still. Um, they'll look a lot better in a few more days, but we're going to go through and look at what we ended up getting. I'm about 90% sure on all of them except one or two, and I'll explain why. So here we go. So the first and um, least expensive one in the group, still gorgeous snake, is a butter het clown. So got a really cool pattern down the back with all these little spots. Um, really good contrast, and wait till this thing sheds. Everything's just gonna look amazing. So this one, um, is I think I got this one right in the video and guessed that it was just a butter het clown, 100% het clown, and that's what it is. Okay, so that's this little bugger. We're gonna move on to the next. All right, so this next one um, is an amazing snake and they're already really starting to look cloudy because I waited a couple days after they came out to, to make this edit or this update on the video, but just take a look at that pattern right there. So, this one is a super GHI head clown. And the way you can tell um, is you can see that line down the back of brighter yellows. Um, and the, the pattern kind of connects all the way to the top. Whereas a GHI will look similar on some of these, but won't connect all the way to the top. You won't get that line. So look at that beautiful neck pattern right there. So this one is Super GHI Het Clown. So again, everything in the clutch is either clown or het clown, and that's a really pretty snake. So let's move on to the next one, which in the next snake, it's just the same as before, but it's also butter. So. Look at this one. So I've done a lot of research on this. Um, and this one is a super GHI butter het clown. 
this when this thing sheds out it's just going to be stellar i mean this the 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 color is crazy already it's just like a shiny silver um the reason it is a um because when when uh, butter and ghi mix you do get some allelic um, gene spot changes which will create this this bright line down the back so some of you might be saying well it might just be a ghi butter pet clown but i studied for too long last night and figured that when the pattern on the sides goes all the way up and touches this line, um, it's extremely, extremely likely that it is a super GHI butter. So you'll still see that line down the back, but that pattern will kind of cut off here and won't connect. And that's where it will be a GHI butter. So again, het clown, but very beautiful snake, super GHI. Again, mom was GHI, dad was GHI, so we're gonna get a lot of supers in here too, so. All right, moving on up. So those are the hets that we had. Now the rest are gonna be clowns. So um, we will start, we have two of the very, very similar looking snakes. I'm gonna wait till they shed out because I've been realizing that after these snakes shed out and start to color up a bit, sometimes their patterns look completely different. So I'm gonna show you both and you guys can um, make your own call right now of what they look like again. We'll take a look on my Instagram once they shed out and I'll show some photos there too. But these are gonna be clown GHIs. And currently these animals are unsexed, but they all are gonna be up for sale. Okay, so I believe that they do look very similar, but I believe that one might be a C, excuse me, a super GHI clown, and the other just a GHI clown. Um, there isn't been a lot of um, ones on the on the internet to to cross reference, but let's take a look right here. Um, they do have very similar heads. This snake in my right hand here is extremely, it's just got a more dark, you know, flamey pattern down the middle. The, the GHI pattern on its sides are very prominent, kind of, you can see they're more individualized here um, versus this one, you know, less up the back, but we'll see, a little bit more combined. So we will see, but these two, as of right now, are being called GHI clowns. If something changes in the future, um, I will let you know, but really cool head patterns on these guys, really pretty snakes. Um, again, they'll be up on uh, Morph Market or my page here. Look at this little guy giving, giving some kisses. All right, so that's these ones. So now we're going up one more notch. So the next one is a butter clown, um, butter clown, yeah, that's it. So still an unbelievable snake. Look at the pattern and the flames on this one. Where's your little head? Come on, come say hi. Little head pattern, really pretty there. There you go. So when this one sheds out, the, the contrast is going to be amazing on the side pattern. Look at this. Look at that wackadoodle right there all the way up. That's pretty cool. So this one, again, no GHI in this one, and you'll see very clearly in a second what a GHI would look like. Uh, this is just your butter clown. Beautiful. Okay. So on this, on the last two snakes of the clutch, same kind of story as my GHI clown. I would love your opinion. Please leave some comments. Obviously they're still in, uh, going into shed right now. It's gonna be hard to see, but let me know what you think. I see a difference. Um, however, it's gonna take some time, I think, to really uh, see the color changes, but here we go. So the last two are butter, GHI, clown 
and I believe that we may have a super GHI butter clown. So I wanna know if you guys see a difference in these animals. I am definitely starting to see a difference. Um, at the day they came out of the egg, they looked very similar. They are now really changing. This is the one with in my left hand that I believe is the super GHI. In the keyholes are um, kind of darker. The pattern is a little bit more spread out. You can tell the color is a little bit different, but again, we'll have to wait for that to show. But um, I'd love your comments, so please let me know what you think if you see a difference in these two animals. But again, at a bare minimum, we know they are GHI butter clowns. I believe that I do have a super GHI butter clown right here, so hopefully I'm right. All right, everybody, so um, thank you again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the little update at the end here. I'll try to do that from now on. I know it's a pain when you don't get to see them. Um, if you guys are interested, uh, check us out on Scales with a Z Reptiles on Instagram. Um, I'll be posting these for sale there or reach out to me directly through, um, uh, well, comment on, you know, down below on um, YouTube and I can reach out to you there as well. So, all right, thanks again for tuning in. Talk to you next time.